Hello everyone and welcome back to another Versus episode. Our Versus episodes are all about putting two powerhouses against each other for mastery of the universe. And today we are focusing on two amazing desserts at Disney and Universal. The first one is going to be the awesome, amazing, famous, worldwide phenomenon, the Dole Whip. It is a powerhouse. There is so many varieties of it. It's sold all over the place. And then head to head with the Dole Whip is going to be the amazing wizarding world of Harry Potter special, the Butterbeer Ice Cream. And even though we know these two aren't exactly the same type of dessert, they are probably the most well-known, biggest, I'd say, powerhouse of the ice cream, sorbet, sherbet, gelato genre between Disney and Universal. So we're gonna pit them head to head and let's find out which one comes out on top. Is it gonna be the Dole Whip or is it gonna be the Butterbeer Ice Cream? Stay tuned to find out. All right, so here we go with number one, the Dole Whip. Check it out. I mean, we've only had it for a few seconds and it's already I dying know. on the vine. It's warm in Florida, but it's already starting to melt, but you can see how awesome it looks. Look at that. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the Dole Whip and the history of the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip was actually created around 1984, um, but it, wasn't, it didn't really get introduced into the Disney parks until about 1986. Um, originally, the Tiki Room had launched with just pineapple juice and frozen spears, and then they later added the Dole Whip because they needed something to kind of market. And it just kind of took off from there. And actually, Dole Whip is actually served in a bunch of different places. It's not a Disney exclusive dessert. It is served in lots of different zoos and theme parks around the world. You can get it all kind of places. Hawaii, it's very popular, obviously. Um, but Dole Whip does Dole actually does credit Disney for popularizing the dessert. Uh, so it has become almost synonymous with Disney World. As we mentioned, you can get the Dole Whip in a lot of different varieties, in the float variety, in different flavors. Um, and it is pretty reasonably priced. It's usually around $5 for the cup and maybe $6 or $7 for the, for the, uh, for the floats. Another location that the Dole Whip is very popular is the Polynesian Resort. They always have a specialty version of the Dole Whip, specifically at that hotel. The Dole Whip actually only has three ingredients in it. Vanilla ice cream, pineapple juice, and frozen pineapple chunks. So that vanilla ice cream is what really sets it apart. It gives it that slightly unique texture that you wouldn't really normally find in a sorbet or a sherbet. And it also makes it much a much milder pineapple dessert instead of it you know, being that really uh, Instead of it really being a strong pineapple flavor, it almost is sort of that blended with the vanilla flavor. Okay, so this this delicious treat is $4.99. So not too bad. And they do have lots of different varieties of it. They've got floats and that you can swirl it with vanilla ice cream and they've got orange versions and raspberry versions and sour apple versions, but we're just gonna go with the straight Dole Whip pineapple and we're gonna give it a shot. All right, here we go. Check that out. Mmm, and that looks good. It's really, really so mm. good. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so pineapple-y. Is that a word, pineapple-y? It's really refreshing. It really is. Um, refreshing. I love that. I love it. It's the only word I can use to describe it. Very refreshing. Yeah, I just love that. Pine it's not like an overwhelming pineapple flavor, mm -hmm. though, I feel like. And the texture of it is so smooth. It's perfect. It's like it's not um, it's not like a like a sherbet, right? Yeah. Or sherbet. I don't know why does everybody call it sherbet when there's no R, I call right? It Isn't it S H E? Wow, huh? S -H -E this is going well. S H E R B E T. So yeah. wouldn't it be sherbet? Sherbet? Yeah, but that sounds weird. Sherbet? I sherbet? Call it sherbet. And everybody calls it sherbet. There's no R. There's no R. Well, there's, there's no second R. There's one but R. But then if I say, give me a sherbet to somebody, they're like, oh, there's a, wow, that guy doesn't know how to pronounce that. But it is that, right? Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't have like a sherbet. Bet. Uh, sherbet. <laughs> uh, it's probably like sherbet. Anyway, like sorbet. I don't know. Okay, enough of that. It doesn't really have the texture of that. It's like a smooth, almost like a vanilla, like a, 
It's like a really smooth vanilla ice creamy flavor. Mm. Texture is awesome. Um, I, I just, it's magnificent. And you get a good amount of it. Like we're sharing this, and it's gonna be a perfect amount for us. Yeah. Now I will forewarn you. There's always a giant hole in the middle. Don't be upset or alarmed about that because that's just how they do it. Like you didn't get gypped. That's how it is, and the price is reflected accordingly that you got a giant hole in the middle. So sometimes it's stacked really high, and it's, you know, the whole middle of it's empty. So don't don't be mad. That's how they make them. This is how it is. Um, but, but trust me, I mean, it's plenty. It's plenty regardless of, of the giant hole. Mm. I'm just going to keep eating it. Um, I just smacked my lips really hard there. I'm sure that was awkward. Cut that part off. I feel like it even gets better as it melts. Like it gets even I better. Know, I just love it. It's, it's, it gets like a little bit of liquid in the bottom. Like uh, it's like gets juicier. Does that sound good or not? I feel like it's good. It, like it's it's so good. It's not juicy. Mm. Mm. It's so good, but it, it is plenty. I feel like for two people. And they do have the float also. Um, yeah. Which I've gotten. I sometimes get that or. Which is basically just, just, basically just the. Uh, the sherbet with um, pineapple juice. So it's the Dole Whip plus like pineapple juice added, and it, and then it becomes a float. Yeah, it's pretty pretty big. Uh, but they have lots of different flavors. But we're just going with the pineapple today. Yep. It's gotta be it's gotta be even footing. I'm sad it's almost gone. Because we gotta do the butter beer ice cream, um, which is and not not to be confused with the butter beer, because that's a totally yeah. different thing. Butter beer ice cream. So if you're not even you may not even be aware that they have butter beer ice cream at Disney, at Universal. <laughs> at Universal, you may not even be aware that they have it. So um, yeah, it's this is going to be a tough battle. They're they're pretty different from each other. Mm. So I find this to be awesome. Um, it's literally going to be gone. And yeah, I, I I mean two thumbs up. The pineapple flavor, the smooth texture. It's only five bucks. Uh, mobile ordering is the way to go for sure. There was like oh, a yeah. gigantic line. Um, for people who weren't mobile ordering, so we were like, well, let's just mobile order, and ours was done in like 30 seconds. So yeah. that's the way to go. Um, and it's like the perfect treat on a hot day. It cools you down. Or even on a cold day, which there's it not that many It of refreshes them. you. Yeah, it's perfect. Yep. So there you have it. That's the Dole Whip. All right. So here we are at Diagon Alley, and the second contender in our Versus episode going up against the Dole Whip is the butter beer ice cream found right in here the only place that you can actually get it actually there's one other place you can get it you can actually get it at the three broomsticks in the other park um, but it's in a cup and it's frozen uh, so it's, and, and, and it like has to fall out so it's not even remotely the same as like the soft serve straight into the cone you can get this in a cup too and you can get this right here at florian or tescu's ice cream shop on the corner um, and it is, we're going to see if it's any good. Before we jump in and sample this awesome looking butterbeer ice cream, let's talk a little bit about the butterbeer ice cream and a little bit about where it comes from and what it is. Um, it actually has been around um, since about 2010-ish when the original Wizarding World of Harry Potter um, opened up um, in, over there in Islands of Adventure. Um, they did have sort of a version of like this ice cream in like a little cup. But the real butterbeer ice cream didn't come about, I'd say, until 2014 when Diagon Alley opened up. And right behind me, they opened up that Florian Fortescue's ice cream shop, which they have all kinds of different ice creams. I don't think it really gained a lot of popularity until then because it was all about the butterbeer itself. Um, and this um, ice cream was... I think kind of a hidden gem. I think the ice cream shop itself is always really, really crowded. Yeah. And they have lots of variations like chocolate chili and um, toffee and like apple and caramel apple and like really cool flavors. They have hard packed and soft serve ice cream. Sundays. Um, you can get them in a waffle cone, in a bowl. Um, but it's just such a cool little shop here. Um, it's themed really cute. Yeah. And I love the ice cream flavors. Um, they just have so many different variations. I personally uh, went for the butterbeer specific ice cream. Now that is a soft serve, uh, but they do have hard packed ice cream as well. 
So we're going to give it a shot. So this is not to be confused with butter beer. Uh, they do have butter beer, which is the frozen drink or the cold drink or the hot drink. Um, they have like a butter beer clotted cream thing too that you can buy. That's not it. So that's a little bit about butter beer ice cream. She actually got apple crumble, apple crumble because she wanted to try something else, even though it's technically not in the versus battle. <laughs> but she wanted to get something a little bit different because they have a bunch of flavors in there. Yeah. So we're gonna see if the butter beer ice cream beats out the Dole Whip. So let's just give it a shot here. Now the dragon may go off a couple of times during this video, so we'll see. So bear with us. But it just went off, so I think we got a little bit of time. All right, let me, I'm going to sink into it. you got to try this, too. Let me know what you think. Uh, here, give that like a, a little taste there. It's so good. Holy cow. Like, huh? Man, it's good. It's like a... I don't know, it's like almost like a, a vanilla ice cream. And I don't know if you can see it in here, there's like little swirls of color. And like, it's like a vanilla ice cream with almost like a chocolatey flavor, but it's butter, it's like a butterscotch, but almost, I don't know, like a malted chocolate. It's, wow, very good. And then it has a cone. See this um, waffle cone here? And how much was this? Was so like six bucks for this? With our discount. You get the annual pass discount as well for this? Mmm. Wow, the ice cream is like so like fluffy. Almost like Cool Whip. Not, not quite at Cool Whip level, but like it's really fluffy. Um, look at those swirls of like flavor in there. I guess that's the butterscotch or butter. Anyway, butterbeer ice cream. Not to be confused with butter beer or frozen butter beer or hot butter beer. Mm. Wow, it's awesome. Um, okay, so I don't want to eat this entire thing on the camera. So I think we should get to the judging portion of our episode here. Yeah. All right, so this is going to be really hard to judge, honestly, because the Dole Whip is just such a different thing yeah, from this butter beer ice cream. But like, they're kind of the two powerhouse, like, I feel like, ice creams slash sherbets or whatever the heck Treat. it is, <laughs> like, treats in the two parks. Dole Whip is, like, super famous in, you know, in Disney. Yeah. And butter beer, I think, is more famous than the butter beer ice cream in this park. But this is kind of, like, the closest thing to the Dole Whip, I'd say, as far as, like, heavy hitter frozen treat goes, as far as, like, kind of an ice cream. Um, we also have a... Um, we're actually doing another episode devoted specifically to butter beer itself. So, but this ice cream, it's gonna be hard to kind of compare it to because the Dole Whip is like pineapple-y, it's like sour, which I really love. It's also creamy because that's vanilla ice cream. It's really yeah, it does have like a little, it's not like a yeah. pure like sherbet, it's like vanilla ice creamy too. And it, they're about the same price relative. And then there are some variations of like Dole Whip, you know, you've got like the different flavors and floats and things. And then this ice cream shop has like all kind of, we're probably just going to have to do an episode just on this ice cream shop. I'm not even kidding you. They have all kind of like crazy flavors, like chocolate chili and stuff. Um, but I love this. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know if it's like really one-to-one, -one you know, comparable yeah. to the Dole Whip. So it's like so it's hard to like... But I feel like... Because I feel like you definitely have to get both. Yeah, it's like, you got to get... I mean, they don't have this at Disney, so you, you have to get something. And I feel like the Dole Whip is the bomb, and it's very refreshing. But this, like, I would come to the park just to get this and leave. Like, yeah. Dole Whip, I probably wouldn't. Because also you can get it in some different places. Yeah. yeah. Um, like Disney Springs and stuff, but even then, I just don't. I don't feel like I would make like a special trip just to get the Dole Whip. I would make a trip here just to get this. Like that's how good this is. And if you don't like butterscotch, this is going to be a failure for you. So don't even like you must just turn the video off. Don't don't turn it off. Well, you might as well just turn the video off and go to a different episode. But if you like butterscotch, and, and not, um, you don't even have to be like a big fan of like butterscotch candy. Because it's almost like kind of a butterscotch flavor, but kind of like almost like a light chocolate, vanilla-ishy flavor. Man, it's good. 
I mean, I feel like if I'm going to start eating the waffle cone with it, it's going to be even better because... Let me just give it a rip on it. Because you know how the waffle cone kind of has like a vanilla-y flavor too? And sugary? Yeah, that was good. Huh? I gotta be honest. I think, I think, I think this is better than the Dole Whip. I think yeah. I'm gonna have to choose this over the Dole Whip. And I love the Dole Whip, so I think I'm surprised. It's the best, uh, soft serve I feel like I've ever had. I, I feel like this is the best soft serve ice cream I've ever eaten in my life. Just, just for the sake of, because she got that, I'm curious. Even though it's not in the challenge, like, is that good? It's so Let me good. Let it taste here. It's so good. It's apple crumble, and it has um, little apple pieces and, like, crumble. You know, kind of like apple crumble, like, cakes and, like, desserts people make. That literally tasted like I was eating apple pie. Like, I got, I feel like I ate an so apple good. pie that had vanilla ice cream on top of it. Like, that's how good it was. Like, it, But th that's not soft serve, though, right? No, it's scoops. Yeah. It's hard packed or something, scoops. But it literally felt, like, I really, literally feel like I just ate a piece of apple pie with a little bit of ice cream on it. That's, that was good. I like this better though. This like is so there you have it. Oh, the dragon's about to go off, so yeah. we're gonna end it here. Let's we'll see if we can hear it. Let's give it a rip. Here it goes. There you can see it. Right up here. He'll, he'll go. He'll give it a sec. He does the sneak attack thing once in a while. There it is. go. Well, bonus there. Got to see the fire, too. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to go Butterbeer over the Dole Whip. I love them both, but I'm sorry, I got to give it to the I gotta give it to the Butterbeer ice cream. So check it out. You can only get it at Diagon Alley. Don't get the one in three room six, I'm telling you. Get this one yeah. first. It's worth the wait. It's worth it. It is a long line in that ice cream place, yeah. which does stink, but it's fantastic. You got to get it and get it with the cone or without the cone. It doesn't matter. And they also have lots of other stuff. So yeah. there you have it. Thanks for joining us for another Versus episode. We're going to get out of here. We're going to hit some more rides. We might get some more ice cream again. And tune in tomorrow. Subscribe. Hit the notifications. Thanks for joining us. Don't go away. Bye-bye.